Buenos días, me llamo Nels Iwasn y esto es mi vídeo en uh, español, o más exacto, en el idioma castellano. Al momento de crearse los las idiomas uh, románicos de la península ibérica, eh, los árabes pues, siguen la más grande parte de la península y la reconquista eh, ha discurrido desde el norte hasta el sur eh, en líneas eh, del norte, es decir, directo al, uh, al sur. Por eso Galicia y Portugal hablan ahora sus idiomas propios al oeste, al este. El catalán se ha visto privado de espacio para su expansión eh, por la mar y ha podido conquerir las islas baleáticas. Pero en el medio del, de la península, el castellano se ha podido desplegarse en la posición óptima para hacerse la lengua dominante de la península. Dado que la conquista de las Américas eh, tuvo lugar durante el ciclo después de la expulsión de los árabes, el castellano ha podido seguir en los pasos de los conquistadores para devenir una lengua mundial. He dicho en el vídeo italiano que eh, la notación musical me ha dado la razón para aprender algunas palabras italianas. Después he eh, hallado un libro de Knud y eh, Ose Hikishaina, 100 lecciones eh, del italiano, pero las, las mismas eh, personas han eh, escrito un libro de 100 lecciones del español y esto fue mi primer de, libro de texto para el español. En el liceo, mi profesor de francés, eh, Olsen, Calvin Olsen, conocía de mis eh, diversiones y a los otros alumnos eh, hacía preguntas en francés, pero a mí hacía preguntas en francés, italiano, español, y esto fue para mí una motivación eh, importante para no olvidar mis estudios. En la universidad he estudiado el francés, he podido seguir cursos de italiano, de rumeno y otras lenguas, pero el castellano no. Hubo muchos eh, estudiantes ya del español, pues eso no he podido, eh, he podido participar sin autorización y con la mentalidad revolucionaria de, los, eh, de la gente del, de la sesión no he sentido ningún eh, incentivo para entrar en contacto con ellos. Sin embargo, he continuado mis estudios de autodidacto. Durante el periodo de 25 años eh, donde eh, no he estudiado las, las encuestas, el español ha sobrevivido a causa de mis viajes. Por ejemplo, he visitado Chile en el 95 y me recuerdo cómo he comido Kuchen eh, con el dueño eh, de mi hostería. Turen hablando en español. Yo sé que la gente habla mucho de, de las variaciones del español pero yo personalmente no he sentido que las variantes de latinoamericanas fueran más difíciles que aquellos de España. Para acabar con este vídeo quería mostrarles algunos de mis libros. Por ejemplo, el vocabulario y lengua más grande que yo conozca. El vocabulario español de Neste Cal Bradley. Eh, tengo además eh, los diccionarios colorados de Gwyllendale, eh, español danés, danés español, un ed editorial de danés y un Langenscheid amarillo. Eh, este libro es eh, muy práctico, un eh, libro muy eh, modesto que se llama Beyond the Dictionary. Eh, que se puede definir como un eh, diccionario español de inglés con informaciones particularmente amplias sobre las palabras. Por ejemplo, oh, cuestión. Uh, surprising as it may seem, this is an unreliable friend. It mean, only means question in the sense of subject or problem. Es una cuestión muy importante. It's a very important matter. If you mean question in the sense of inquiry, you need pregunta. <laughs> Eh, aquí, el, eh, el gran libro eh, de expresiones idiomáticas en español, 12.000 eh, eh, expresiones en español y en 
inglés con traducción en, espa en español y al final. Finalmente tengo como un recorte del señor Olsen eh, esto, el diccionario de dudas de la lengua española comprado después de su fe fallecimiento. Adiós. Hello, this is a summary of the Spanish video. As uh, I showed in the video, the Romance language on the uh, Iberian Peninsula developed uh, from geographical uh, criteria. At the time where they uh, came uh, to into being from uh, the Vulgar Latin, the Arabs uh, had most of the peninsula. The Christ Christian uh, kingdoms uh, were only at the north, and when they uh, took over the peninsula, they proceeded from the north directly southwards. That means that those who spoke something like Portuguese uh, took the western part, those who spoke something like uh, modern Catalan and Aragonese went uh, straight down and met the water. So uh, there, there are uh, possibilities of expansion disappeared. They took the Balearic Islands, though. In the middle, Castilian got the main part of the uh, peninsula and uh, with the capital Madrid in the middle it became uh, the dominant language just at the time where the conquistadors uh, took over Latin America. So Castilian was the language that uh, developed in Latin America, not the other two except uh, Portuguese which uh, gained Brazil because of uh, the Treaty of uh, Tordesillas which uh, left them just a snippet of uh, the coast of that country. So Castellano has become a world language under the name of Spanish. After that I explained how I learned uh, the Spanish language I started out. Just in the wake of uh, Italian I found a, a textbook about Italian and from the same authors I also found a Spanish one and then I just started out and I was about to say maybe 10, 12 years, uh, at that age I'm not quite sure anymore. And uh, when I came into the high school, gymnasium, lycée, liceo, I uh, met uh, my French professor, uh, Carl Johan Olsen, and uh, where he asked uh, questions in French from uh, the other pupils, he had discovered that I had some uh, uh, other hobbies and he asked me questions in uh, French or in Italian or in Spanish. I could never know what language he would ask questions in. So that was a very good motivation to do something about my home studies. In the university, I didn't participate in the uh, in the classes of uh, Spanish uh, department because they were overpopulated or simply not a place where I could come as a uh, freelancer. And, uh, when you consider that those people were communist and uh, socialist and uh, revolutionary people uh, with uh, Cuba as their ideal, then I had not really any incentive to get into contact with them. When I stopped studying uh, French and other Romance languages in 82, I also stopped uh, studying f Spanish, but uh, it somehow survived because of my travels for instance, I visited uh, Chile in '95, where I met uh, a host in my guest house uh, who uh, gave me kuchen. He was of German descent. And uh, while I was speaking, uh, eating kuchen, uh, I was also speaking Spanish with him. Uh, but broken Spanish, but Spanish. And uh, I met more travelers in Latin America and in Spain. and. Uh, Thus, uh, my Spanish survived, though in somewhat rusty version. I finished uh, the... Well, I of course, I uh, have uh, done some work on my Spanish after taking up uh, my language studies again in, in uh, 2006, but it has not been the one I've mo wasted most time on. I have uh, had other projects. So, at the end of the video, I showed some of my dictionaries, and the biggest one was uh, the one of uh, Karl Bradley, Spanish-Danish 
uh, dictionary, and that is probably the biggest dictionary that <laughs> I uh, that I have got, and as far as I know, the biggest bilingual dictionary in any uh, combination of language in Danish. Apart from that, I've got uh, some dictionaries from the Danish uh, editor Gyllendal, and um, I also showed a good little book, but I don't know whether you can get it anymore. Uh, that is a book called uh, Beyond the Dictionary, a good old book, but it has uh, the advantage that it tells a lot of about each word. It gives uh, four friends, and it gives uh, insecure friends, and it gives uh, untrustworthy friends, and it gives you ideas about what to choose if a certain word isn't the one you should uh, use. Very good book. Uh, I showed uh, also the big red book of Spanish idioms with 12,000 uh, Spanish and English expressions. It is bilingual in both directions, contrary to most uh, geometric lexica. And finally, I showed a souvenir. This book, which is uh, a memory about uh, my, uh, my uh, professor in the high school, Carl Johan Olsen. I bought it when he died. Uh, uh, just after we had ended our studies uh, together. Uh, that is all I had to say about Spanish. Goodbye.